Welcome to the Vancouver West Neighbourhood Show, where you get to meet local businesses and owners in your neighbourhood. I'm Della Goff with Sutton Real Estate, and today I'd like to welcome Patrick from Gallery 88 Arts. How are you today, Patrick? I'm well. Yeah. I'm well. It's, yeah. uh, it's been an interesting period that we're going through here, but it's, it's all good. It's, that's, so, that's excellent, yeah. yeah. And you, you, you said that you're quite busy right now, and that's such good yeah. news to hear. I, I, think, I think some businesses by nature, uh, people sort of were uh, not traveling and looking after the, their home, and we're kind of in the category of that, and mm -hmm. they've, been, they've been doing that. And uh, real estate's been moving, so we're somehow tied to that that's because excellent. people like to change their pictures. So mm -hmm. yeah, we've been busy. Good, good to hear. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the history of uh, Gallery 88? Yeah, we, we, we sort of bought the business as a frame shop in about, uh, uh, well, 1991. Oh, okay. And uh, about three years in, one of the biggest art dealers in Canada came into our shop and wanted somebody to help him with framing you know so we were doing emily carr and the group of seven oh, wow. so we sort of overnight went from a like a little frame shop to a a gallery um, okay he, he told me get your prints out of here and get originals in here because the neighborhood is can easily so we learned uh trial by fire and everything but we we basically became a, a gallery and i got connected with uh people that were dealers and um collectors through this relationship and uh, now it's like we've done everything from three million dollar paintings to people's cross stitch and graduation pictures so oh, we okay. still do framing but we like I really know what I'm doing and we've worked with designers in the neighborhood and uh, so it's it's really a great location for <coughs> how we've evolved um, yeah so you and your wife started this business, is we, that correct? We did start it, um, but I we realized I ended up having six kids over the course of our marriage, and after the second one, we had to come to the conclusion that she had to stay home with the kids, and I oh, hired okay. somebody, and the, mm -hmm. the girl that I hired sort of was with us for about 21 years. Oh, okay. And she just, she left uh, about two years ago because she was afraid we wouldn't survive COVID. Oh, okay. And coincidentally, shortly after she left, we got busier than we've ever been and not because she left just oh, okay just the, the way things went and, mm -hmm. um so it's uh it's been very strong for that whole period of COVID. excellent yeah. excellent but now my wife works with me so oh, she's good. back and the kids are old enough that we can they can mm -hmm. manage with without her oh, being okay. home so. great yeah. well patrick can you tell us um how long you've been here uh we've been here since uh 2002 at this location we were mm -hmm. 10 years down the street on the corner of uh, 44th and uh, yeah this location at the time we got it was sort of out of the way and disconnected from the main drag but it's actually because of the developments it's it's actually been really good with all the new places going up and it's mm -hmm. perfect for a place to have a, an art gallery framing place so yeah, yeah. And you've been in business since 1991, is what you? Yeah, yeah we bought the business in nine, 1991, and it was a it was more or less a framing shop with with prints, and uh, we still sell prints, sort of as people ask for them. But we primarily, really exclusively, sell originals, and we have mm -hmm. about we have about probably 40 artists from uh, everywhere from Alberta to Ontario, Quebec. Um, and we have also some collector pieces, a group of seven um, artists that are we carry as well. Um, so you were um, talking about some special artists that you've had in your gallery. Can yeah. you tell us about well, what happened, these people? When I was working for this one dealer, who's actually he, he had he's died in the last couple of years, but he uh, he walked in one day and and. Uh, asked us to do all his framing and it was all top-notch stuff um, and so he introduced us to these he gave me a book to read and he said you read this every day and we're going to talk about it so I learned the the important artists in Canadian art and so then we started to see his customers come in and bring their stuff and we got very um, comfortable 
framing and designing very, very expensive art. Uh, Emily Carr, Group of Seven, uh, E.J. Hughes, uh, Jack Shadbolt, all those people that uh, he dealt with that are sort of important fixtures in Canadian art. Okay. Um, and so it also gave me a, an advantage just designing decorator pieces as well because you, mm -hmm. you start to learn what works and and uh, and I guess uh, you, your experience too in, in real estate, you get to see different designs and how things have changed and sort of we've, we've learned by uh, helping designers frame to suit decor uh, what, what things are current and, and so it's been, a, it's been a really interesting learning curve over the, over the years because mm -hmm. things change almost you know, yearly, yes. I, I mean, as mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So we, we've, we've sort of been at that uh, cutting edge. Because there's a number of local designers that, that uh, are in Carisdale and Shaughnessy and, and uh, we, we've dealt with quite a few of them in, in this business. So oh, that's good. great. Yeah. That's great. And, and what are customers saying to you about the work that you do for them? Well, I think they generally like it. I don't know if there's that many businesses that are like because we're a small business and 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 I own it and this is my this is my space. I really take it personally. Yes. And uh, so I I'll go and hang their pictures for them if me if they want me to, and I'll oh, tell okay. them where would be the best place for them because oh. I've done a lot of it. Okay. And uh, so I, I think generally they're they're happy. I don't really like the idea of. Uh, you know, going online and getting, you know, reviews because people tend to do that naturally and if they are happy and it does happen with us, but I mm -hmm. don't always trust that uh, right. yes. <laughs> just because yeah. it can be staged. Mm -hmm. But it, it, I think generally we, we're, we're still here because people like what we're doing. And yes. uh, I, I, I'm very serious with, uh, with doing, usually my, my motto is I want to do more than they expect. And quite often, especially when you're dealing with elderly people, that they don't know all the ins and outs of what they're, you know, what they're wanting to do. And I really enjoy sort of showing them things that they might not have anticipated would be a, a good, okay. good thing to do for. Okay. So that's sort of where, where I like. And I, it, it's fun because I know what I'm doing, and and I I think generally they're usually surprised how good things look. Okay. And, um, so yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> customer service is. Um it's amazing. I think it's yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah, really. it is. You know, yeah, it's because you can talk and you can advertise, but mm -hmm. really, th the best commercial is word of mouth. And uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Well, in a world where customer service seems to be disappearing, well, um, I'm glad to hear that you offer that, especially like going to somebody's house and hanging a picture for them. That's wonderful. Yeah, like we, we'll go to their house not only just to hang the picture. Sometimes I'll go to their house and see. <coughs> You know, because usually the picture that they like in the spot and works that works best is sort of a ratio of the space. So sometimes they'll think they want to put a picture that's this shape in a space, but okay. a different space shape will, will actually be better. So we, we kind of go before and we go after we finish the work quite often. Wonderful. So, yeah, that's yeah. excellent. That's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, can you tell us um, where you're located so people know where to come? Yeah, we're, I always tell people we're in between 46th and 47th on West Boulevard. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's you, the 6247 West Boulevard. And we've been here uh, since 2002. So, uh, and we usually leave our lights on at night. And we, okay. we actually sell, quite often we'll sell pictures at night when people just walk by because of the promenade here that okay. where they can walk by and our lights are on. So they'll either come in the next day or they'll call us and just say they saw it on their walk. And so it's a really a nice position to be in here where we, mm -hmm. you know, the, the area is developing very quickly and, yes. and a lot more population, you know, movement than there was before. And so we, we, uh, we sort of enjoy that busyness and it's, it's fun. Good, good. And do you have, um, stuff online as well that people can we do view? we do we have some stuff online but I don't I have to admit that I I don't make a big effort to sell online okay. although we have sold stuff online I don't really try and do that I, I'd rather people come in yeah you know they can contact <clears throat> us through a website uh, through email and and text and stuff but I don't I don't really push trying to do business over that I'd rather mm -hmm. people come in yes yeah, so you like so, to do the in-person yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. that's where the customer service comes yeah, from I think so. <laughs> yeah yeah that's great well, I would uh, like to thank you for this interview today. Pleasure, it's been no. a pleasure getting to know you and your business, and it seems like you're just um, doing very well here. 
but just we're happy. I mean, my goal is not. I like I said, I have six kids, mm -hmm. so they're. I'm just trying to put them through school of and course. do everything. So it's, but it's 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 just a really nice neighborhood to have a small business in. Yes. And uh, and Absolutely. I know that small businesses in general are kind of under fire with mm -hmm. all the you know the property taxes that are there and the uh, you know the different things that are happening even in terms of crime you hear downtown and stuff we're we're, we're pretty mm -hmm. it's it's a great place to have a business and i really it have is. gotten to know many of the people that live in this area too so i enjoy that part great good well thank you my pleasure thank you i'm della goff with sutton real estate i want to thank you for watching this video today if you're interested in having an interview done please go to parkbench slash carisdale and um, we will help you with that and if, you're look if you have any real estate needs, please contact me. Thank you and have a good day.